Central Texas Invasion. Our investigative team has shown you how state officials dumped a non-native species of fish, the Asian grass carp, into Lake Austin to eat overgrown underwater plants. But more than 30,000 of these guys over the past few years had an unintended consequence. The portions in green you see here represent the vegetation in Lake Austin before adding those fish back in 2012. Then last year, you can see the dramatic decline. Practically all of the plant life, even native plants, gone. Well, we've learned Austin's outdoor gem, Ladybird Lake, is now full of the same fish. Just the latest waterway impacted as they continue making their way down the lower Colorado River. God, man, I'll be lucky to get a bite today. Yeah, my name is Raymond Thomasitz. I'm a full-time bass guide here in the Austin, Texas area. Overcast is, always extends a morning bite, especially in the summer. If you want to experience Austin, Ladybird Lake is the landmark place. I mean, you've got to come down here to kind of get a feel for what the city's all about. <laughs> You're licking on it. This lake is a big kayak lake, so uh, we'll see a lot of kayakers out here, paddle boarders. And of course, you've got the rowing clubs with UT and the various clubs that are out here. Ladybird's got a good population of uh, quality sized bass in it. There, I was looking for spawning bass, and I saw those Asian grass carps swimming around. Well, after seeing what, what they did to Lake Austin, I'm a little worried. Um, Lake Austin used to be a, a sought-out destination nationally uh, for people to come trophy fish for bass. There's definitely a bass on that right there. I'm not seeing any grass anymore. Grass provides cover, and cover um, gives hatchlings and even adult fish places to hide. It also contributes to the food chain. Come on, baby. You know, they've, they've completely decimated any aquatic vegetation that lives in Lake Austin. My name is Marcos de Jesus. I'm the Texas Parks and Wildlife District Fisheries Management Supervisor. The whole story starts with a, a hydrilla infestation in Lake Austin. The water management authorities decided that the hydrilla would pose a, a, a concern or a problem in terms of safety and dam, dam operations, and it causes these huge mats that are uh, impossible to navigate through or to swim through. Uh, we looked at different methods of controlling hydrilla, and the best suitable method at that time was to actually introduce triploid grass carp, also known as white amur. It's a fish from Asia. They, they deliver them from out of state. They're produced in hatcheries outside of the state, and uh, they actually get stocked from a truck. And uh, now with recent flood events, after the drought was over, um, floodgates have been opened at, um, at the Tom Miller Dam and allowing grass carp to escape downriver into Lady Bird Lake. And so we know that at least hundreds or thousands may have come down, but it's hard to determine a number exactly. They are sterile, they won't reproduce, but we still have to live. I mean, these fish could live anywhere between seven and 15 years. We expect them to, to die off a little at a time, and eventually the numbers are gonna be reduced to the point where we'll start seeing vegetation grow back in the lake. The thing is to learn from this experience, to see how we could refine our, our efforts in the future where we don't have to get to this tipping point. You know, when you, kill, when you, when you get rid of the vegetation and it's no longer a great place to go catch a 10-pound bass, people don't want to be here. That's a fish. Come on, baby. Finally. Lady Bird Lake Bass, two and three quarter pounder. Um, yeah, we, we want that grass to come back, we want, you know, as fast as possible. Goodbye to the grass carp. It's just gonna take time, you know. Just hopefully not too much. 
Thanks to photojournalist Andrew Choate for that story. Jim, Texas Parks and Wildlife tells us this is all a balance between recreational lake users, fishermen, and people who own homes on the lake. And we also know it's going to keep happening in other places as these fish move down the river. Yes, it's happening right now. As you heard in the story, we're already seeing these impacts in Lady Bird Lake. This is what it looked like actually in 2015. The plant life, all green here, and the latest snapshot now, last year, this is Lady Bird Lake, a lot less vegetation. Part of that is because of flooding, but the fish are also taking a toll. Keep in mind, if you have a fishing license, it's not against the law to catch and remove Asian grass carp from the lake to help reduce that population. You just have to gut them before you leave. And various agencies are working together to plant more native vegetation in areas along Lake Austin and Lady Bird Lake. They're also constructing artificial habitats for fishermen to fish. This is something we've been following for a few years now and wanted to keep you updated. To see our full coverage, just click in this story on the homepage of KXAN.com.